Hello everyone, I'm going to walk you through my New Year's Day ritual. <laughs> this keeps me sane in terms of um, uh, managing my photos, and I've used um, iPhoto, and now it's just called Photos on the Mac, uh, for quite a few years now. And um, every year I do this to keep my photo library from becoming too big and unwieldy. And basically the, the process is every single New Year's Day, I back up the existing photo library and start a brand new one for the following or for the coming year. And I just want to walk you through the process. It's super easy to do. Uh, here we are <clears throat> on, um, what are we running here? We're running uh, Mac OS Mojave. So the latest version of Mac OS here. Uh, and this is photos. As you can see, I've got my year's worth of photos in here. A uh, whole bunch of them, lots of stuff happening this year. Um, and so I want to back up 2018 now. So here's how I do that. First, let's just quit out of photos. And what I've got here uh, is my media archive. As you can see, I go all the way back to 1999 uh, every single year backing up my iPhotos library and then eventually the photos library. And here's 2017. We're going to do 2018. So let's go over here on the left. This on the right is my hard drive that I'm going to back this stuff up to. On the left is um, here's my uh, user account. And you just go into your user account and say pictures. And right here is your current photos library. Right? This is the one for 2018, basically. So what I'm going to do is I select it. I hit the Enter key. And then I hit the left arrow to get to the beginning of it. And I type 2018 photos library. Boom. All right. Once that's done, take a look at the size of it. Right now it says it's 2.05 gigabytes. And so what I do is I transfer it over to the hard drive. It's that simple. But once it's done there, I double check and make sure that they're both 2.06 gigabytes. <laughs> you know, if one of them's, you know, 300K and the other's two gigabytes, then something went wrong. But you just watch the, the transfer here. And as it says, it's going to take about a minute. And this is a good habit to get into at the beginning of each year, uh, mainly because if anything becomes corrupted in any of these libraries, you're not out 10 years of photos. You're out, you know, maybe you know, at the worst, one year of photo photos. However, I'm backing up this hard drive to the cloud. So if this hard drive goes bad, which my Media Archive hard drive did go bad in 2018, I very quickly was able to use Backblaze and get a, a backup sent to me. If you're not familiar with Backblaze, uh, you should check these guys out. Uh, they uh, It runs in the background and just backs up all your files to the cloud. And it's very convenient to, if you have a hard drive crash on you to get it right back. Okay, so we've transferred it over. Here's the media drive. Now here's my um, 2018 photos library. I'm going to check and see. Yep, 2.05 gigabytes. There we go. So that is now been backed up. So now let's launch photos again. And this time I'm going to hold down the option key when I launch. And what happens is it says choose a library. This is how I open my old libraries, by the way. But in this case, I'm going to create a new one. I say create new photos library. I'm going to put it in pictures and say, OK. And there we go. Brand new photos library. Let's go into preferences and turn on iCloud photos. <clears throat> if we're not already there, iCloud features photos are only available in the system photo library. Okay. There. Use as system photo library. Done. Okay. And that is all there is for that. When I say, uh, when I go back into the finder here, you'll see I have a new photos library and it's very tiny. 2.9 megs. So I'm going to take 2018 and delete it from the main computer because we don't need it anymore. I've backed it up. And that is how you start your new year off right with a fresh new photos library ready for 2019. I hope this has been helpful for you and uh, happy photo taking.